In this video tutorial, we will instruct you about a new pop-up window that displays its ads through web push notifications. This uh, website that is uh, malicious is called s3sysdesic.club. It's really hard to pronounce the name of this website and furthermore, it doesn't really make any decent sense. These pop-ups try to make you click on the allow button. The pop-up says that you need to click on this to verify your age or to prove that you are not a robot or simply to continue your browsing. Of course, some people might think that clicking on this allow button will not cause any damage. However, that's the serious mistake. Because the moment when the allow button is clicked, the people start receiving a lot of unwanted ads that keep uh, disturbing the user's attention, essentially. Furthermore, these ads may point the browser to all sorts of junk and unsafe resources that may essentially damage the computer. I'm going to click on the allow button on purpose in order to demonstrate how to fix this issue and deactivate those pop-ups. Go to the browser menu, you click on settings. Now select site settings and notifications. You need to check the allow area carefully and find this questionable website and select remove. After this has been done, the problem should be fixed, but I also recommend scanning your Mac with Combo Cleaner Antivirus that you may get on this website combocleaner.com. Download the program using this green download button and finally start the application. The program will first of all update its antivirus database and then you need to click on Start Combo Scan button to initiate the research of your Mac. So the scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus for Mac has been ended and now it's time to review the results. Check the antivirus area and click on the review results link. The report will display uh, each thread and will also show its location. So you may click on this icon to show the location of the thread in Finder and then you may uh, right-click on each specific thread and decide to move it to the trash. So you may do it with each specific thread manually by right-clicking on the thread and moving it to the trash. Or you may do it automatically, however, only with the premium version of the program.